Hi everyone. I'm just going to do an update. Um, I'm on day 29, but I came off the pill about eight weeks ago, maybe nine. I've had one period at day 30 last time. Um, I'm on day 29 now, so I don't really know the situation I've been doing. Actually, they're the wrong ones. So that's not what I was after. Um, I've been doing cheap pregnancy tests, but nothing's came up, as you can imagine. Um, so I've actually only got one that I can do because I'm not sure where I've put my cheap ones. So I've got a clear blue. Um, this kind, you know the ones that have the grass if you are pregnant. I don't know if you can see. Because obviously it's hard to see when you haven't got a double screen so you can see yourself. So... Bear with me. Get my P. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds just to be sure. These are quite cool. The end goes pink. I don't think I am because I'm having what feels like period pain, but you never know, do you? What's the problem? Right, let's see this together. These iPhones are rubbish. Why doesn't it show you properly? I think it's three minutes, this one. So I don't think I am for a second. But it's always it's always good to check. We're not actually trying at the moment, but we did have a whoopsie moment, so to speak. But um, we're hoping to try from May or June onwards, once we've got married. Let's try and get this a bit closer. I don't know if it's my focus though, because it's this iPhone. It doesn't have like an auto. That's it. Doesn't have auto, um, what's the word? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just uh, at the moment. Doesn't have an auto correct, like for auto focus, that's the word. <laughs> hmm. Right, I think it's been about a minute and a half at the moment. I don't see anything, but I am glad because obviously who wants to be pregnant before they're ready, I don't. It would be a blessing, don't get me wrong, but it'd just be nice to be able to fit into the wedding dress I bought, you know, instead of having to buy a different one. But what will be, will be. If I do turn out to be, eh, meh, but we'll see. I think we were careful. I think we did it when we should have done it, with and without. We, we, we use, so we've been using the um, rhythm method. So, because I had a 30 day cycle last time, we did stuff the first week. And then after that, we did stuff after day 20. So hopefully yeah. we've missed it. We did have a whoops moment. Yeah? In the kitchen? You'll have to look. Won't be long, I'll help you. That's my 14 year old, Cassandra. That's giving me where the sweeping brush is and the dust banner brush. That says it all, really, doesn't it? <laughs> so helpful. <laughs> Get back to this, see what's what. Oh, come on, focus already. I think that's focused enough though to see what's what. I think that's a definitely a negative. Would you say so? It looks like it. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah, don't get me wrong. 
I'll be happy to be pregnant. It's just, I want to try and avoid it at the moment. If it happens, then I will be happy. But, you know, fingers crossed it's not the case. <laughs> I don't think so. As I say, um, I would be happy even if I was pregnant, but um, because obviously when you have miscarried multiple times, any baby is a blessing. Two babies, whatever you get, but you know. So yeah, I'll catch you probably next month when I start the ovulations again in about two weeks, because I'm assuming I'm going to come on today or tomorrow. Not there's any indication of that, but we'll see. Um, good luck, ladies, with your pregnancies. I hope everything goes well for Connie. And that, fingers crossed, things have not gone wrong. Um, bye, ladies. Bye. Baby dust. Bye. Bye.